going to be a nightmare. San Francisco displaces a farmer's market to make room for a skate park. Yeah. Yeah, this is what we're doing in San Francisco. This is how we're going to move out the open air drug usage areas, the open air human trafficking, the open air stolen goods markets. We're going to we're going to replace them with skate parks. Yeah, yeah. This I'm sure this is going to work out great. Let's get into it. Here we go. I don't know about you, but as a kid, when I was a kid growing up in the 70s and 80s, the one place that you knew you could get drugs at, yeah, it was the skate park, right? That's where all the sketchy kids were. I'm not trying to throw all the kids under the bus that rode a skateboard. I have a skateboard. I rode a lot of skateboard. And that's how I know that even back in the day, in the 70s and 80s, yeah, skateboard kids, the kids that were really into skateboarding, they, they might do some drugs. They might do some drugs. Now, I know there's some out there that probably don't. Okay. But the vast majority, uh, they're riding a skateboard around and when they're a little bit too old. I was at uh, was on my boat the other day and I was going out to the dumpster and I was just taking some garbage out there. There's a group of kids. Some of the kids had like receding hairlines. They're, you know, they're probably 30, early 30s and they just look older than they are, but they're riding a bike, a dirt bike, not a motorcycle, but you know, a regular bicycle goes on a track. They're riding it down the hillside, over the street, down the ramp and off of a, you know, bike ramp off into the lake. And it was epic. It was great. It was cool. But those are the kids that you're like, all right, this group of kids. Mm. Yeah. You're not going to find them there on church on Sunday. How about that? Now, this group of kids was just having fun, and they they had a great time. They, I watched them most of the day. They're like, oh, watch this jump. I'm like, yeah, dude, you're 30 years old. By then, I had a six-year-old. I had a kid in first grade, and you're jumping a bike off into the lake. All right, all right. I, I know. Times have changed. But now down in San Francisco, a beloved farmer's market tenure in the United Nations Plaza is nearing an end. Now, we are trying to get the UN Plaza area squared away in San Francisco, because you got some big conventions coming to town, you got some stuff going on, and we need to, we, you know, all that open air drug use that we thought was just going to be okay. It, it's 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 not looking at, not looking that way, right? It's just it's not happening. City officials have elected to move the heart of the city farmers market, a staple of Civic Center for forty two years, to the nearby Fulton Street parking lot, making room for a skate area chess boards chess boards yep you heard that right chess boards ping pong tables and tech ball a sport similar to table tennis uh, and this is according to a press release from the farmers market the market will move one street over to fulton street between larkin and hyde on september 3rd and construction of the recreation area is set to wrap up in november the decision is an attempt at revitalization with hopes that a vibrant hub of activity will make the area safer as UN Plaza is known for its open air drug market. It's one of the worst areas of San Francisco, right? It's like where the action happens. And I don't mean the good action. So why don't we just clear out the drug dealers? Why, do, why don't we do that? Why don't we just make a concerted effort to keep this area cleaned out? Instead of sending a bunch of skateboarding kids in there playing chess, how does this, I get it. I get it. You're, you're trying to send as many people into an area as possible. Are skateboarders and people playing chess really the ones that you want in there? I mean, what are they contributing to the local, you know, how do we come up with this? All right. We got a lot of, we got a lot of concrete in the area. All right. That's hard surface. Okay. What could, what, what kind of park thing could we put in there? Skateboard park. Let's give them, let's give them a big, uh, quarter, quarter pipe. Let's give them a half pipe and we'll just see where it goes. This should be fine. I do not get the logic here. I do not get the logic here. I, I mean, it's just, it, it's, it's mind blowing to me. 
Then now all of a sudden, all right, let's, let's have the, this open up. The drug dealers are just going to continue to do their same thing. And they're going to be like, yeah, those are skateboarders over there. It's what we're doing. Right. I mean, this, this has no chance whatsoever of working. All right. So now you move in with a bunch of skateboarder kids. I don't know if you've seen skateboarder kids in San Francisco, um, but they're like skateboarder kids anywhere. They're kind of alternative. They're doing their own thing. They're listening to their own music. Everybody knows this. They're not going to push out drug dealers. They're just going to be like, hey, how's it going? Yeah, what's going on? And they're just going to coincide. They're just going to, you know, cohabitate. It, 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 it makes zero sense. Skateboard part. The market will move for, um, and, and this, this is the option. This is the option. This is the solution that city of San Francisco comes up with. And you know what? I do love a good farmer's market. I have been growing vegetables. I posted a picture yesterday. You can see it on my Facebook and Instagram. Um, and I was basically making fun of my ability to grow vegetables, but I grew some pretty good ones. So if you want to check that out, Sean Reynolds, 68, I don't even know what my YouTube is, nor do I care. I'm not in YouTube, but, um, Facebook, I just don't really use Facebook at all, but some of my Instagram stuff goes through there. So um, I grow a bunch of vegetables. I think growing vegetables is cool. I think buying fresh vegetables is cool. A skate park instead of a drug den. Mm, no, because my initial, initial thought is, and not every single kid falls into this, but a skate park isn't, it's not like church service going around the, around the clock, right? It's not like church service. It's a different drill. And sometimes you find drugs at the local skate park. I, yeah, I know, I know it's hard to imagine. It's hard to imagine, but it just, it, it doesn't, it doesn't make a lot of sense. It's people that are wildly out of touch with what's going on, making decisions. Oh yeah, okay. Skate park and chess, and we'll play this other little game here called whatever. So, moving the market across the street will allow the department to offer family-friendly programming in the plaza seven days a week. Skate park ain't family-friendly programming. If you've taken a young child to a skate park in recent years, you will understand that. I mean, just go there and see what happens. Just go there and see what happens. See, see what happens. See what happens. See if they have guns, right? See if they have some drugs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See if there's some booze being whatever. Yeah. I mean, you're going to find those things, right? You're going to find some people smoking some of what we know as marijuana. I mean, oh, good Lord. We need to have activities there every single day, not two days a week, Apperton said. Okay. I get that. But this is, uh, yeah. Why don't you just clean up the drug influence at the drug market? How about that? How about that? Oh, no. Yeah, we can't seem to get that under control. That's Therefore, we will take a, uh, <laughs> a farmer's market and make it into a skate park to push out the drug dealers. Uh-huh. Because, you, you know, the drug dealers, they're, they're just going to look at those kids going by with their popped up skateboards and go, good Lord, we can't compete with that. We got to go to another area. We, we just got to go. We just, we just got to go. One of the articles I was reading this weekend in Seattle is Seattle in uh, the month of July had 3 million tourists come through the downtown core, 3 million. Now, some of that was T-Swift and we had a bunch of other stuff going on. We had uh, Capitol Hill Block Park Market and uh, Block Party, and uh, uh, we had a bunch of other big sports events happen. But when you have that many people come through, it will tend to push out some of the other entities that are, you know, operating in basically no man's land because no longer it's it's no long no longer no man's land. But a skate park is not like having 3 million visitors who are buying things and interacting with the downtown stores and whatnot. You, you, you get what I'm saying? This is not, this is not the, it's not the road you should be going down, but what do I know? Just a real estate dude talking into a microphone, right? The farmer's market, which is open Wednesdays and Sundays, rain or shine is operated out of UN Plaza since 1981. 
providing fresh produce in a low-income neighborhood where full-service grocery stores are scarce. A Whole Foods near Civic Center closed within a year of opening. We've talked about that a million times. And that's the reason it's so bad is you got just a bunch of drug dealers and drug addicts running around doing their willy-nilly thing. And you know what the politicians do? You got it. Yeah, let's make a skate park out of this area. And somehow that will miraculously solve the scenario. Whereas we can't, you know, putting dozens of police officers on emphasis patrol. That doesn't seem to be working. So I'm sure the skate park will work out just fine. According to the market's press release, it has served more than 20,000 unique Cal Fresh participants in the past 12 months, distributing more than 2 million in vouchers for free produce. All right, this, this is a real service to the community in an area where grocery stores like Whole Foods lasted 13 months because they had 568 911 calls, including somebody ODing permanently in their restrooms. So to combat this type of situation, we're going to convert UN Plaza into a skate park. Nobody has food access program as large as ours, Steve Pulliam, uh, the market's executive director, told San Francisco Gate. Certainly not in California. We have the numbers to prove that. Hey, I'm not questioning you. Even if you were open only one day a week and only if you sold um, two bananas, uh, three winter squash, and one potato, I think it would still be more effective than the whole skate park slash whatever it is you got going on there. I mean, you, you just asking for trouble bringing a skate park in. I, maybe I'm just old school. Maybe I'm just, maybe I've spent enough time at skate parks. Maybe I've spent enough time with my own children at skate parks. Yeah, I don't go by that kid. That kid's trouble. You know what I mean? There's always that one kid that's like smoking a cigarette and he's 15. Looks like he's 22. Pulliam cited a host of issues with the new location. Compared to the UN Plaza location, it, it kills me that San Francisco can't keep a location called the UN Plaza location free of drug dealers, free of human traffickers, free of people so- selling stolen goods. How, how, how do we get here? What, what happened? Fulton Street space is limited. He pointed out that in the new location, vendors won't be able to park their vehicles behind their stalls. All right. So are they going to bring um, wheelbarrows and just wheel up their stuff? You know, are they going to cart it in? What a pain in the ass that is. Leaving them exposed to smashed windows and break-ins. This also puts merchandise at risk since some vendors use their vehicles to store extra produce. We will probably have to set load in and load out times, but we haven't worked out that yet, Pulliam said. It's going to be a nightmare. All right. Well, I mean, at least the city officials, you know, got together with the, you know, farmer's market people and said, hey, we think this is going to work out. No, it's going to be a total nightmare. Well, we're just going to put it in anyway, and we'll just see how this experiment goes. Get out that popcorn, right? Apperton told San Francisco Gate that the market will have room to accommodate all of their vendors during peak season, plus room to expand. Space is not a concern here because it's not less space, she said. She also said that the city will be providing free parking for customers, staff, and vendors in addition to security services and marketing support. Most vendors will be able to park on the plaza, she said. According to Pulliam, another issue is that vendors will be located further from the nearest BART elevator a significant hurdle for shoppers in wheelchairs. That's going to be quite a hump for them to get to our farthest vendors, Pulliam said. At the new location, the farthest vendors will be able to will be up to 0.3 miles away, over a quarter mile away from the Civic Center BART's station's elevators. So that's a haul. Quarter mile in a wheelchair is a haul. I used to push my grandmother a little old, probably about 0.3 miles away from her nursing home down to a meth-infested mini mart that we love to go to because it got her out of the nursing home. And I there was one little table that I'd push her in her wheelchair. We'd go into the store. We'd buy a bunch of crap that she couldn't get at the uh, nursing home. And then we'd sit back by the coolers and uh, I would give recommendations on which malt beverage was the best deal. And my grandmother had no idea what I was doing, but these guys were coming in. They were all hopped up on who knows what. I kind of got to know the the store owner, but pushing somebody 0.3 miles in a wheelchair, 
or, you know, getting yourself there in a wheelchair, if you're disabled, it's a haul. It's a haul. There's no no doubt about it. It's like, all right, do I really want to do that? All right, I'm going to get my grandma out of the nursing home, and we're going to go down. We're going to see what the freak show is like at the mini mart, and it's going to be the best time ever. That's literally what we did, right? Phil Ginsburg, general manager of San Francisco Recreation and Park, previously told the Farmers Market Board of Directors that the recreation area is an experiment Mm -hmm. and that the vendors will be allowed to return if the project does not improve the public health issues in the United Nations Plaza. It's an experiment. We're doing an experiment, folks. How do you think that'll work out? And does anybody know anything about skateboarding? Uh, those chess kids, those chess kids, though, they're smart, right? So, okay, I'm not taking anything away from chess, but yeah, how, how much space do you need for a handful of chess boards? A bunch. And then they're going to start gambling on the chess, right? You just know they are. You just know they are. And then crime syndicates are going to take, yeah, I'm just going off the rails here on this one. But no, the kids jumping around on their, their, their skateboards. Um, I am all for skateboarding, the actual true, but the influence that it always brings in because it's always this almost like anarchy, you know, rebel situation. F that. I'm going to go ride my skateboard school. F that. I'm going to go ride my board. I'm going to, yeah, I and mean, they're always riding in an environment they shouldn't be because that's where all the good rails are. That's where all the good ramps are. That's where all the good stairs are. You know, it's always of some public area where it's off limits and they're getting chased off by the cops and they're getting in trouble. I mean, that's how skateboarding's always been since the seventies, right? Since the seven, it's just, I grew up with skateboarding. This is not going to go well. This is an experiment that should not be done. And, um, I am a, I'm a total no go on it. Also, I'm a total no go on, you know, making it into a rec center. That's that, that's not what you should be doing. You should be cleaning the city up, focusing on that. But this is just a try for, right? This is a try for, and it just happens to impact some poor, <laughs> vendors of fresh vegetables skateboarding to veggies you pick right you pick which one do you think is a better better fit well apparently there aren't enough people buying you know it's only twice a week it's wednesday and sunday okay i get that but you couldn't come up with anything else as an experiment in un plaza in san francisco other than this well, you know, if this does work out and this becomes the most popular skate center in all of uh, North America, I will eat my words and I will go, I'll go do an Ollie there for you. How's that? How's that? I'll do a 360 on my 1977 Jaws skateboard, which I still have. It was a promotional skateboard for the movie of Jaws. It's yellow. It's got a, got a uh, kick tail on it. Oh, it's epic. And I've still got that. My mom kept it for me. So I will, I will ride around on my skateboard at UN Plaza if this becomes a thing. And all of a sudden, miraculously, there's just, you know, no drug dealers out there. But I, I think that's a pretty good bet on my part. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. All right. That's it for me on this one. Thanks so much. We'll catch up on the next one. Bye for now.